Okay, um, kita fokus kepada learning outcome C and D. So, before this, actually, we already learned about the mode of speciation. So, we have sympatry and allopatry. So, sympatry refer to the formation of new species in same geographical area. Uh, without geographical barrier but allopatry refer to the formation of new species um, due to geographical barrier okay so for today we want to focus on what are the processes that leads to speciation okay apa je benda yang boleh mempengaruhi formation of new species okay so we have four in our syllabus uh, the first one relate uh, the first one is reproductive isolation. Uh, the second one is genetic drift. The third one is hybridization. And the last one is adaptive radiation. Okay. Uh, moving on to the next slide. Uh, so, these are the general uh, definition for reproductive isolation, genetic drift, hybridization and adaptive. Uh, adaptive radiation but you might want to uh, have a look at the particular um, slide for the um, uh, special definition I mean for the specific definition okay rather than the general definition so uh, we have four factors the first one is reproductive isolation so reproductive isolation refer to any physical or behavior character that prevents successful exchange of gene between members of different species or individual within a population so untuk reproductive isolation actually under uh, reproductive isolation uh, we divide into prezygotic and postzygotic okay so um, there are another factor under prezygotic and postzygotic means that uh, before zygote is formed and after zygote is formed uh, that will causes the formation of new species okay so due to uh, this physical and behavior characteristic um uh, this will causes uh, unsuccessful exchange of genes between species and species. Okay, that's why kita tak boleh kelaskan dia pada species yang sama lah disebabkan ada reproductive isolation. Okay, uh, I believe that you might don't understand what I'm saying just now. But you will understand later on if we uh, go deep into reproductive isolation. Uh, for your next slide okay the second process is genetic drift okay so means that random and sudden change in allele frequency in a gene pool so uh, what can cause uh, L changes in allele or genotype frequency so we refer to genetic genetic drift so actually for genetic drift you already learn it indirectly during semester one which is um, chapter five uh, for the Hadi member, okay. Uh, so, can you still uh, remember what are the five assumption of Hadi member? <laughs> so, one of it is uh, large population size, no mutation, no mutation, no migration, no natural selection, uh, and another one is a random random mating so these are uh, assumption that will not causes changes in allele frequency so kalau kita vice versa kan apa yang saya sebut assumption tadi dia akan menyebabkan changes in allele frequency so kita akan tengok sikit uh, Hadi Wembert punya assumption tu under genetic drift okay Okay, the third one is hybridization. Uh, so, hybridization paling senang saya nak cakap refer pada alu polyploidy. Okay, uh, so ini pun kamu dah belajar semester 1, uh, chapter 7 mutation. So, alu polyploidy means that um, mating between two different species that will produce offspring that have uh, extra set of chromosome. So, for normal uh, organism, we have uh, two set of chromosome, which is one set from maternal and one set from paternal. But for case hybridization, allopolyploidy specifically, uh, the offspring produced uh, might have extra set of chromosome. Instead of diploid, maybe triploid, tetaploid, 
pentaploid and so on okay and the last one factor that causes the formation of new species is adaptive radiation uh, how from one uh, single ancestor uh, we produce many uh, different species Okay, from one ancestor. So, ini kita akan tengok jugalah uh, contoh selepas ini. Okay. Okay, moving on. So, uh, firstly, kita fokus pada the first factor which is uh, reproductive isolation. So, for reproductive isolation, we have two uh, two types. The first one is before zygote is formed or before uh, fertilization. Uh, eh, no. Uh, before yes before uh, fertilization so kita ada prezygotic so under prezygotic we have five which is habited or spatial separation uh, isolation sorry so uh, how habited uh, isolation actually can lead to formation of new species uh, ini kita akan tengok later on uh, the second one is behavior okay uh, so, how behavior of one species will attract um, another individual of the same species? And why uh, a behavior of one species does not causes any attraction for another species? Okay, uh, yang ni pun kita akan tengok details later on. The third one under prezygotic is temporal or seasonal, okay? Mm, how different uh, in mating season will causes a uh, formation of new species and then mechanical mechanical refer to a uh, reproductive organ okay uh, so how reproductive organ or reproductive structure uh, causes uh, unsuccessful uh, mating ataupun unsuccessful uh, gene flow okay between two different species and then the last one is gametic in terms of gamete uh, is it the gamete of one species can survive in reproductive uh, tract of another species uh, and so on okay so that one is prezygotic uh, untuk the second one under reproductive isolation kita ada postzygotic okay after zygote is formed ataupun after fertilization okay so after zygote is formed we have three uh, the first one reduce hybrid viability um, the second one reduce hybrid fertility and the last one is hybrid breakdown uh, i will not explain more on this one i will explain later on Okay, uh, let's have a look first on uh, reproductive isolation. So, reproductive isolation refer to the formation of barrier that lead to reproductive isolation between individual within a population. Okay, uh, so reproductive isolation ni refer kepada uh, macam mana halangan, uh, terbentuknya halangan ataupun kekangan menyebabkan uh, berlakunya reproductive isolation uh, antara individual dalam satu populasi okay? ataupun antara satu species dengan satu species. So, daripada reproductive isolation ni actually dia akan prevent interbreeding between two different species. Okay? Uh, maksudnya um, disebabkan reproductive isolation dua species yang berbeza tidak boleh interbreed ataupun mating with each other. Okay? Uh, tapi uh, secara uh, realitinya ada kes yang boleh uh, mating uh, between two different species. So kalau possible untuk mating between two different species, kita tengok pula adakah offspring yang terhasil tu uh, survive ataupun not survive. Okay. So uh, reproductive isolation ni sebenarnya kalau dia Kalau yang pertama tadi dia lepas, maksudnya the first one uh, sepatutnya dia prevent interbreeding between two different species. Okay, uh, tapi kalau two different species tu boleh mating ataupun uh, interbreed with each other, kita tengok anak yang dihasilkan. Okay, uh, sama ada anak tu uh, akan uh, mati awal ataupun dia boleh survive sampai dewasa tapi dia adalah sterile. Okay. Sebab kalau anak yang dihasilkan daripada mating of two different, different species uh, fertile, sepatutnya parents dia adalah same species. Okay? 
uh, kalau dua spesies yang berbeza kita crosskan mating dapat anak anak tu sepatutnya sterile okey mandul infertile dia tidak boleh uh, fertile okey kalau anak tu fertile maksudnya mak dengan ayah dia adalah spesies yang sama bukan spesies yang berbeza okey Um, so untuk reproductive isolation dia boleh berlaku sebelum dan juga selepas fertilization okay. So that saya dah sebut tadi kita ada dua jenis The first one prezygotic, uh, the second one is post-zygotic post